Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm your host Cameron and today we are going to be starting off a side tutorial series on how to make a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game in Click Team Fusion 2.5. So if you've, if you've been following along with the series, you would have known that I made a tutorial series, uh, 11 parts on how to make a complete fan game, start to finish, and just, it's pretty standard, but you can, it's an easy way to make a fan game pretty quick, pretty efficiently. Uh, but what I'm planning to do now is since all of that is done, I'm going to be making side tutorials So these side tutorials are completely optional Usually are supposed to be shorter, but I Can't I, I can't really say if they are gonna be shorter or not But they generally should be and these tutorials are probably gonna be a lot easier depending on the ones you choose but you never know, uh, and we're gonna start off this side tutorial with Ultimate Full Screen, which I will get into soon. I might put a timestamp up uh, at the top of the screen because I have some stuff to talk about really fast. So for one, sorry that my quality is, is goofy. Uh, I try to fix it, I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, so if I sound way too loud or like, you hear like my computer in the back, I apologize. I don't really know what to do about that, but I might try to figure that out before the next tutorial. Additionally, this one's pretty big too. So, as I'm recording this, July 2nd, on my birthday, um, there is a big, big sale going on at Click Team. So, if you have the free version of Click Team Fusion and you're like, damn, you know, I can't do a whole lot on the free version, I really want the full version, but it's a hundred bucks, well, you guys are in luck because Click Team is doing a huge sale up until July 13th. And that huge sale is a 75% discount. So originally, Click Team was about uh, 100 bucks for the standard version. Uh, technically, 300 for the standard plus, which is stupid because you have to buy the standard version for 100 bucks, and you have to buy the standard plus for 200. Don't buy the standard plus; it's a scam. But the standard version used to be 100 bucks, but since the 75% discount is going on, it is now 25 bucks. That's the biggest discount I've seen in a couple years from Click Team. Uh, besides that one time they released it for free for a couple days. But anyway, if you want to really get into Click Team, if you're like, all right, I've used the free version, I've tried to make the most out of my fan game with the free version, you can now buy the full version for 25 bucks. And it's pretty recommended because I'd rather spend 25 bucks than 100 bucks. Now, once again, this sale is going to end. Uh, July 13 so I, I would spend it fast you know ask your mom like if you can do some chores anything maybe maybe go on the street and beg for money that could probably work too but that's about it uh click team did not ask me to do excuse me click team did not ask me to do that at all because I don't get I don't get paid by them but you know what I mean I mean it's good for my channel so if you want, if you want to do it I would recommend but anyway, let's get back to the tutorial, and this one is going to be Ultimate Full Screen. Now, you might be asking, what is Ultimate Full Screen? Well, we all know what Full Screen is. It's, it's the mode where you can go com completely into Full Screen, like the whole game wraps around your entire computer. So, that's what Full Screen is. Ultimate Full Screen, on the other hand, does the same exact thing, but it's way easier to implement. So, if you ever played a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game, or any game for that matter, and you go into the settings, and at the top, it said that there's like a little box that has like, and it says like, full screen on it. I'm sorry, I'm starting so bad. And it says like, full screen, yes or no. Well, for Click Team, you can still do that, and it still works perfectly fine. But with Ultimate Full Screen, all you gotta do is just go over, load the frame, press the minimize, maximize button, and the game will automatically go full screen for you. Obviously right now, it's not going full screen for us, but we are about to implement that so that when you press, oh, get, get the hell out of here. When you press this button, it'll go full screen. Now you can't go out of full screen once you go into full screen and press, pressing this. So I don't know if, if, if it's your thing, you can do that. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. And the thing about this specifically is it's not even hard to implement because it already does all of the code for you. It's just you have to install it, which is, I guess the most annoying part, but it's really not that hard to install. So this is more of a tutorial on how to install it rather than like code it. So this one's gonna be really easy for you guys, really easy to start for me on the series. So let's get started. So 
first of all, I think what we want to do first is we want to go over to this file explorer here. This is probably going to be the longest part, so, you know, obviously, let's just do this first. Go to file explorer, open that, then just full screen it, scroll down until you go over to this PC. Click on that, go over to your C drive. I need to get rid of shit so bad. Anyway, double click into your C drive and then you'll be met with this screen. So from this screen, you wanna go over to program files, x86, double click that, and then you'll be met with all of this. What you wanna do from here is, you wanna scroll down, go over to Steam, double click into that, scroll down until you see uh, Steam apps, double click into that. Then from here, you wanna double click into common, and then this will be where all of your Steam games and shit are. Now, I don't know if it's this easy to implement when you buy Click Steam on its actual website. So, I don't really know if this tutorial is going to work for that. I'm not even sure if that works for this kind of thing. But if it does, it should be fine. If it doesn't, then I, have, I really have no idea how to do that. So, this is pretty much just only for people who, have, who bought Click Team Fusion on Steam. Which I, I don't know if that's like the only place you can buy it, but whatever. From here, you want to double click into Click Team Fusion 2.5 and then go to Extensions. And then you're good. Just keep this window open. Now, if you need a little recap of what happened, go over to this PC when you open the File Explorer, double click into your C drive, uh, double click into Program Files x86, not just Program Files, but Program Files x86. Go over to scroll down and double click into Steam. Scroll down, double click into Steam Apps. Then double click into Common. And then double click into Click Team Fusion 2.5 and then Extensions. That's all you need to know. Now, I obviously have a lot of extensions here already, uh, but that's not important. This, should, this shouldn't this should pop up for you guys if you didn't download any extensions. And, and God damn it, extensions. So, this shouldn't appear. But now, let's go install it. So, uh, be, remember, keep this window open. Don't, like, go out of it. Don't X out of it. Just, like, just minimize it now. So, next, what you want to do is you want to go right-click, insert object. Now, obviously, right now, you can't insert um, ultimate full screen because we don't have it yet. So, what you want to do from here is you want to go over to manager, and then you'll be met with all of this. This is all shit that you can just install. And you can go up to this little search bar up here. And type in ultimate full screen or you could just type in excuse me ultimate or anything like that so from here you can't just directly install it you have to go to a separate link uh, so from here where it says ultimate full screen press the source which is a link and then it'll be take it'll take you to a separate little website which has a very cool animation and art style to it but ah, yep I yeah no I got you I got you uh, so I know the screen looks a little confusing, but okay, can you calm down from here? You want to go over to this little wrench up here top left Load this cool animation and then ultimate full screen fusion extension Now I think I already have a check mark here because I downloaded it like seven times But basically just click into this download version 1.1 and just uncheck, um, I want to be emailed about new Ultimate Walrus games. I mean, unless you want to be notified about that, just uncheck that because if you check it, then you have to type in your email and then, you know. But anyway, download Ultimate uh, Full Screen version 1.1. And it should be up here. Mine, says, mine has like a 6 over there because I downloaded this so many times. Uh, but it shouldn't say that for you guys. But once you got that done... We're gonna go back to Click Team. We're gonna go out of here. And we're gonna, actually no we're not. We're gonna go over to the bottom of your taskbar where the file explorer is. But what you wanna do from here is you wanna go right click and then go file explorer. So don't like go into extensions and then just go download. Just go right click and then uh, file explorer. This opens up a second window. And from here you can go to downloads. And then you can go over to ultimate full screen, which it shouldn't have any numbers next to it for you guys. It was your first time downloading it, but mine has obviously numbers around it because I'm stupid. And I keep downloading it over and over again, forgetting that I have it. 
But from here, you want to go over to this, to this up here where it says extract all, and then just extract. Uh, completely safe method, and you should be good. So then double click. Once you have that done, double click into ultimate full screen, and then go into extensions, and there it is. Now from here, if you have your extensions window open from this PC, you want to get your other extension and just like shrink it down. Uh, like so this is the extension from the click team folder which is from downloads and this one back here is from this PC so you want to have that open and then all you got to do is just drag it in here and you are good so after you have all that done then it should work so obviously I don't think it's gonna appear here right now and if it doesn't appear here right now uh, this fast just go over to refresh uh, and there it is, ultimate full screen. And the best part about it is, all you gotta do is press OK and then just put it down here. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah, just press yes, just press yes. Because that, that just does, it, it just full screens it for you and stuff like that. And the best part about this is, one, you don't have to code any of it. And two, you can only put it in one frame and it'll do it across all the frames. So, to check if this worked, you wanna go over to just run frame. And then if you press this button up here, boom, game is full screen. And like I said before, this works across multiple frames. So you can go over to like, uh, I don't know, night floor, and then just run the frame. And then if you press it, boom, full screen. So that's about it for the tutorial. Um, very basic. Uh, it works for super well. And um, on a side note, if you are exporting your, wait, export, is that how you, exporting your game with Oh shit, it just started raining like hell. If you ex export your game while you have ultimate full screen, you if you export your game while you have ultimate full screen, it might say something like, oh, it's not gonna work in click T and in your like in your builded application, it's gonna work. Just don't listen to that message. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching everybody.